Hey there, Collective. How's it going? My name's Lorraine and welcome. Welcome to the New Earth community. Welcome to this Tarot Love reading. All right, guys. So once again, we're going to focus in on your person, person on your mind, person you're thinking about at this time. All right, guys, We you just want to know a little bit more about this person, this person's feelings, their thoughts, and their actions at this time. We're going to come in with three decks. Yeah, the Psychic Tarot, the Illuminated Tarot, and the Animal Tarot for you today. All right, so let's dive deep. Okay, so you're talking about fulfillment of wishes. Wow, and you have emotionally withdrawal. Okay, so it's it's saying here in your reading, what I'm kind of picking up here is that you're, you're working. You're working on yourself. You've made certain changes here. You know, it's almost like a new beginning here. It's like you've got something to offer, material prosperity here. I, I have done a pre-shuffle. All right, guys, so I'm able to try and, um, you know, I'm able to talk about the Nine of Cups, even though I know a bit about the Nine of Cups. Now, when we talk about the Eight of um, Cups here, emotional withdrawal, what it talks about there, guys, is that you've pulled back. You have pulled back here. Um, what it also talks about there is that, you know, you know why you feel certain emotions. You know the beginning points of those emotions, whether they're good or whether they're positive or negative here. All right. What it also talks about here is moving forward. All right, guys, ready to move forward, coming in with the performance of wishes. The Eight of Cups would have been a really difficult time to go through because we're talking about a lot of things here that um, trigger, that trigger you. We're talking about patterns and habits. It could also be seen as um, Dark Night of the Soul. We're talking about some really deep emotions that have that have come to the surface, and the only way you were able to, I suppose, rid yourself of those emotions was to actually work through them, which is why you come in with the fulfillment of wishes here. Yeah, it says you're at a really good spot. You are all the person on your mind. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so you have the High Priestess. You have the Fall. Wow, you're kidding me. And you have the Empress. Bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of, um, Knight of Swords here. Yeah, that's that's quite a positive. That's positive off the bat right there and then. Okay, guys, even though you're coming in the way that you are, or this person is, the high priestess, the empress here, you know what it talks, and it's a full, yeah, this person is ready to manifest. This person can manifest. However, there's still a student. Yeah, you're still, you're still a student here. It talks about um, this person is ready to build some kind of abundance for themselves. They're ready to build a life in which they want for themselves here. And this all came about by the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is um, when you, you're not, you just, just don't want to... Um, Go for your heart's desire. Mm, there are certain things that, that hold you back from doing that. And and if you don't deal with it, if you don't face it, if you don't sort it, you know, the cycle will continue. It does, it's not like it will end, the Eight of Cups. It talks about um, certain feelings coming to the surface. It talks about people kind of saying things and that trigger you. This is what the Eight of Cups talk about. Yeah. It also talks about pulling away from it. You know, there it, it's like a there's like two sides to the Eight of Cups. There's that negative side, and you know what can be seen as a positive side of, to the Eight of Cups, where you've pulled away from actually everybody here in order to deal with some really deep rooted emotions here that you've held on to since you were a child. Now, these emotions have dictated maybe your decision-making here, the choices that you make, and the movements that you make here as well. I, 
don't know if you'll call it bulletproof. Yeah, because things still hurt here. You, you, do you understand what I'm saying? It's not like this person is bulletproof. Yeah. They just don't let things happen. Okay, got the Six of Swords. That's been coming out a lot, I must say. Even in the pre-shuffles. Okay, and the Three of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. Okay, that's interesting. It's interesting here. Yeah. See what it talks about there because you're coming in with the false journey. All right, guys. Once this person made the decision, yeah, to change, made their conscious choice to change here. It's telling me whatever this it's it's not like this person walked away from you. This person walked away from their past. That's what it's telling me here. It, it wasn't easy for this person to walk away from their past. It wasn't easy. All right, guys, because we're talking about some real deep-rooted issues here, mindsets that this person had to go through. We're talking about the Eight of Cups. All right. To leave it behind and it, it was about it wasn't just about in the physical walking away it, we're talking about this person's psyche we're talking about the way in which this person was thinking here coming in with the high priestess and you also have the empress here yeah this this is kind of what it's saying here there's a past that this person has walked away from and they're not going back there a past way of behaving when it comes to the fool your person's a fool the person on your mind okay they're on the fool's journey so they're kind of doing they're kind of doing what they want to do. There are obstacles, yeah, there's challenges in the way when it comes to this person's um, path forward, movement forward here. But what it talks about here is that it, they're not alone. It's something else I'm getting here. They're not alone. They're actually working with someone. They're working in collaboration with someone is what I'm getting. It also talks about here is that this person has gone through some kind of reprogramming. The mind here, the soul, you know, and even this person's actions here. It's a new journey. This is what I'm getting. They don't listen to anybody else. They, they, they're not like that. You know, when we're talking about this empress lady, she don't listen to anybody. Yeah. Tell her what things are meant to look like or what she should be doing here. Yeah. She has her own mind here. And what it talks about here also is that she's building that. She's building that here with the Three of Pentacles. I do seem to think this person works with someone. This person has a mentor or a life coach. Not only that, but this person is in collaboration with others. How your reading's coming across. That's what's helping this person. That's what's, um, I suppose, that, that's why this person get, may be seen as the Nine of Cups, the wish fulfillment here. There's, there's a past that this person's not going back to. And they're not really, they're not really going to let anybody um, persuade them otherwise. Yeah, people are allowed an opinion, but it doesn't really, um, it's not going to amount to anything unless she takes it on or he takes it on, the person on your mind. You have the tower. You have the Eight of Swords. You have the Emperor. Interesting. 
the King of Cups. Ah. Let me just add it up. 10, 16. Some kind of towel moment. Towel moment. Okay, the tower, the tower here. Hmm. I don't know what's the bigger picture when it comes to the tower. But I think I mentioned that before the tower, you know, coming in with the eight of cups here. There's a lot going down here. And what, what I can see here is that you've got someone watching you. All right, here collective, um, and I do, we're talking about an emperor coming in. This person watches you. Why? Because you're the star. Out of everyone that's around this emperor guy, the only person that they that they have eyes for at this time is you. And it's like I said, it's some kind of deep rooted mindset this person has. They they kind of don't know what to do. To be quite honest, here coming in. The way that you're coming in here, yeah. What well, what it talks about here in your reading is this person is going through some kind of tower. Some kind of tower moment. And it's coming down to the thoughts here. It's almost like whatever actions action this person has taken in the past, yeah, they're kind of thinking about it now. They're kind of replaying it in their head. This is what I'm getting. Yeah. What it talks about here is that whoever this person worked with, you know, this person was able to, well, you're coming in with the tower and it, and what I'm getting here is because we're looking at the bigger picture where we could be looking at whatever it is that you built your foundation on and what that looked like for you. And may also talk about just how much that foundation played a part in your life, how it was actually the foundation in which you built or the foundation in which you came from. Yeah. And maybe what you used or gauged to make certain decisions here, decision making here, because you are coming in with the three of pentacles in terms of reprogramming here. You know, you worked with someone and what it's telling me here is that when you worked with that person, you know, the bigger picture about, about your life, about your beginnings here, you know, about your childhood here, there are a lot of, um, I suppose, a lot of unanswered questions were answered, finally answered here. You know, what you found out about your past, about this foundation here. I think this may have been the same when it came to your person. Moving rather slow as your person, very hesitant, and you could see why. It's almost like what, what I'm kind of getting here is that this person hasn't acted on their emotions, yeah? You know, they are in love with you. They are coming in as the King of Cups. This person watches you. But it's almost like to their own detriment, if you ask me, because they're coming in with swords.
it's like they can't they can't stop thinking about you they can't maybe they can't stop thinking about what happened in the past between the two of you it's something else i'm getting here what it also talks about here is this person knows you have a new beginning you you you've got a new beginning here okay you've also worked on the eight of cups i do believe the eight of cups is yours coming in the way that you're coming in okay see this person wants to build with you they do they want a second chance with you i kind of get here with the seven of pentacles as opposed to not doing anything i don't think this person knows what to do looking at you know because it's almost like i don't know if it's all struck i don't know because it's this is this person's mindset what, what it talks about there is that this person can't stop thinking about you. And that's what I'm getting. Being open, being able, you know, being vulnerable enough to show their feelings towards you is something this person fears here. Because what if what if you don't reciprocate those feelings? But they, you know, but they need to take a risk. I, I see here in your reading here, collective, is that you 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 would take that risk. And once you get that answer, what I'm getting here is that, okay, whether it's a, if it's a no, you're ready to move on. Okay, if it's a yes, well, you're ready to work on this relationship with this person. Hmm. That's kind of where it's going in your reading. Different reading here, guys. Tight and very hard. Very hard, I must say. Yeah. Yeah, the tower, eh? The tower is talking about the whoever it is that you're working with. That's what it's talking about here. It's also talking about, you know, the shop that that um certain things happen to you 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 know this person whoever it is that you worked with was able to show you can show you you know the tower and and what your foundation was truly made up of and maybe how to look at your foundation mm. i i believe you've had more than one tower moment you've had many tower moments coming in with the eight of cups six of swords to get to where you are at this point, the High Priestess, the, the Empress card here, you know, to get there would have taken a hell of a lot of work. And you do see that here, okay, in your reading. What you have got to be aware of is that your person may have watched you through these stages here, watched you as you have um, grown into this person, become the Nine of, Nine of Cups. See, this is what's happening with this person. It's like they want to come in and, and, you know, be that masculine energy here. Yeah. Something to do with the 3D here. Something to do with the physical here. That This, this is how this person wants to come towards you. Yeah. Like they've got everything. That like they're okay here. It's going to come down like that. All right. Well, but they do have a lot of emotions for you. Okay. All right. Book an image reading, tarot reading with me. Check out the details in the description box. Become a member of our Facebook group. All right, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye.